Here is the formula to calculate the present value of an annuity due, with all of the variables listed. We're going to go through how to input this formula into Excel. As an example, let's say that someone expects to receive payments of $500 at the beginning of each quarter for the next six years. The interest is 5% annually, and since the payments are received at the beginning, this is an annuity due. What is the present value of the annuity? We're going to put the answer in cell B8, so we left click on cell B8 so it is highlighted. Next, type in an equal sign. Then, following the formula, we left click on the payment amount, cell B2. From here, we type in a multiplication sign, which is Shift 8 on the keyboard. Next, we type in two open parentheses, then we type in a 1. From here, we type in a minus sign, then another open parentheses. Next, we type in a 1, then we type in a division sign, which is a forward slash in Excel. From here, we type in two open parentheses, and then we type in another one. Next, we type in an addition sign, followed by another open parentheses. Now we need to left click on the rate, cell B3, then type in another division sign. From here, we need to left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4. Then we need to type in two closed parentheses. Next, we type in a two a power symbol, or a caret sign, which is shift six on the keyboard, and then we type in an open parentheses. Now we need to left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4, then type in a multiplication sign. Next, we left click on the time, cell B5, and then we type in four closed parentheses. From here, we type in a division sign, followed by an open parentheses. Then we left click on the rate, cell B3, and then type in another division sign. Next, we left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4, and then we type in two closed parentheses. From here, we type in a multiplication sign, and then type in an open parentheses. Now, we type in a one, followed by an addition sign. Next, we type in an open parentheses, then we need to left click on the rate, cell B3. From here, we type in a division sign, and then we need to left click on the number of compounding periods, cell B4. Then we type in two closed parentheses to close off the function, and finally, we can hit the Enter key, and we have our answer of $10,441.02 rounded off. And here is this problem written out on the screen, and you can see we do get the same result. And here is another example where N, the number of compounding periods, is 1, and the payment amounts are $8,000. I'll hit the Enter key, and we get $22,266.12 rounded off as the present value of the annuity. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.